for the fans, it makes it a lot easier being F4, F3, F2, F1. Um, but yeah, I think you know people in the know obviously know that it's not quite as simple as that. I started in go karts. I think like most of the, all the guys actually, and it just built all the way up through. You know, fortunately successful. And when you're successful, you get picked up by manufacturers, and that gets you into the position you are. I had a supportive family but couldn't afford to do all the budget. So by being picked up by Mercedes-Benz and HWA, crucially so young, they made a massive impact to where I am standing today, uh, so many years on and getting older. For me, it's really important to have a, to have a good team behind you, to uh, keep your head up and uh, keep it fast on the track. It's really important. It makes it easier if you're with a team that does, say, the F, F4, F3, F2, and then anything outside of Formula One, but they can take you up each ladder individually each year. They can take you up all the way, almost to the top. I think everyone starts the career aiming for Formula One, and, and, and why shouldn't you? You know, I think it's, I think that's that's it's like anybody who starts playing football wants to win the Champions League or, or, or win the World Cup. That's just it's only normal. My dream is to be an F1, as I'm sure a lot of people's dreams are. Um, you know, realistically, it's you know it's, it's very hard to get into F1 these days. There's a lot of different factors, so. You know, if I, can, if I can race cars for a living, then that would be, you know, my dream. I think other people have got different different ambitions in life and whether they want to be a tin top driver, whether they want to do DTM, GTs, there's many different things. About, I think it's about being realistic about where you are and what you've done. And, um, you know, Formula One's not always the right thing for, for everybody, does it? You never know who's watching. Um, and that's completely true for me because I ended up here because I won one race. Um, on a good day to win that one race, when when uh, Nationwide, who have kindly sponsored me for the last three years, just happened to be interested in coming back to motor racing, um, and they changed my whole career in one moment. It's absolutely about networking. It's also about your PR and and the following that you have, because you can be the greatest driver out there, but if nobody's aware of you, you're never going to get the same sort of following and create the same interest going forward. The biggest lesson is that. Motorsport doesn't owe you any favours, you know, you, you, you don't deserve to be anywhere. It doesn't matter how fast you are or how good you were in that year, you just got to look at it uh, without any emotion where you want to go and, and just keep pushing forward to it. Um, and what I mean specifically is if you think you're good enough to be in a Formula 1 or Le Mans or something, that doesn't matter, that's not enough. You've got to be the complete driver, the complete package. My old mentality used to be win it or bin it. That's the advice I give us, so you don't have to win every race. Um, a lot of people win championships without even winning races, so it's all about points and lim limiting your mistakes you make. It's great to be fast over one lap um, and qualifying is very, very important because it's harder to overtake. Um, but also, you know, the chance of making a mistake in a car is a lot, a lot bigger than in carts. So I think being consistent and, to be honest, just doing laps and, and getting comfortable in the car is, is very important. The harder you work, the more greater your chances of, of getting there. You know, it is still possible to achieve the top in, in the sport through talent alone. People say it isn't, but it is. Um, yes, it's very hard and money will always ease the path um, of, of opportunity, shall we say. It won't mean that you're necessarily a winner, but it'll open opportunities. You know, you've got, you've got to stick at it and, and keep picking yourself up because eventually it does turn and when it turns it, it comes good so I think a lot of people get out of it before the good times come you know I speak to a lot of different drivers and they, they, they feel like they're going through a tough patch and, and they want to throw the towel in and I think many do but you know I, I had them days as well and uh, I came close to throwing the towel in but I didn't and now I'm reaping the rewards. I always say there's a large group of drivers who fit into what I call the very good bubble and those drivers are all very good and on their day they can win in a very competitive championship. But the exceptional drivers, the ones who sit in a very small bubble above that, there's a very small number of them, but they can win consistently all the time in their championship. And those are the ones that will ultimately succeed as well. The cream normally rises to the top. You know, even if you look at Max Verstappen where he went Formula 3 straight to Formula 1, no one would have said that. It happened uh, if you're good enough you've got the ability, you've got the determination, uh, you can make it happen.